to be all about how I go from curly to straight and also how I maintain my straight hair throughout the week. So I'm going to show you first how I go from curly to straight, step by step from cleansing to how I blow out my hair, what products I use, and then into how I go to sleep at night, how I work out with my straight hair, and also how I rock the hair as it starts to get a little bit more texture throughout the week and how I style that. But first I wanna talk about how I prep my hair before I actually straighten my hair. So when I know that I'm going to be straightening my hair, I go ahead and kind of prep a few days in advance by applying a really, really heavy dose of coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. Either one really works for me. So this time I actually prepped my hair by using coconut oil. And so what I did was I just had my hair in twists, like two jumbo twists for a couple days. And I used coconut oil alone to saturate and moisturize my hair. And then I cleansed my hair. The shampoo and conditioner that I use is really random, but I do use a sulfate free shampoo. Now I'll show you how I go from freshly washed hair to straight hair. I'm going to begin by sectioning my hair and usually I will do two to four sections but if you have longer hair or thicker hair you can do as many sections as you want. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Royal Blowout by Oibe. This is a heat styling spray that is a heat protectant but will also keep my hair moisturized as I blow it out. In the same section, I'll be adding the Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. This is also going to moisturize my hair and give it a bit of shine. And to actually blow dry my hair, I'll be using this attachment on my Diva, <laughs> my Diva blow dryer. And I just go through my hair really thoroughly to make sure that it is as straight as possible with the blow dryer before I actually use the flat iron. This part is super key because it'll make your flat ironing process a lot easier. Also a couple tips when you are blow drying your hair, make sure you're blow drying in a downward motion and not kind of all over the place because when you're blowing your hair downwards, it will help your hair actually lay flatter. So now I'm done with one side. This is the completed look with just all of my hair blown out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I flat iron. Now I put enough product in my hair when I blew it out to where I don't feel the need to add any more oil or anything when I do this part. But if you feel like your hair is a bit dry, go ahead and add a little bit of the oil back into your hair and then start flat ironing. I use a bristle brush to smooth my hair instead of a rat tail comb because I just feel like I get a lot smoother result when I do this. And I'm only putting the flat iron down my hair with one pass, that's it. And if max, I do two passes. This is why the blow dry aspect of getting it as super straight as possible is so important. So I wanted to also talk about the flat iron that I used to straighten my hair this time, which I love this flat iron and it's perfect for natural hair, curly hair, thick, coarse hair, and it's this GHD one inch styler so i got this at sephora and i was looking for a flat iron mind you i have like three or four flat irons and i don't even flat iron my hair like that but when i do flat iron my hair i want to use something of quality and so i was looking online and i've always done this where i've been like okay what's the best flat iron for like curly natural hair and a lot of times i don't find that much online that's helpful and nor do i see anybody kind of that I recognize besides like what the the Seydu flat iron that the Glam Twins use. I actually used to have that years ago, but I lost it. I don't know where it went. The years have passed and I have no idea as many times as I've moved. And so I was looking online and looking at reviews of this flat iron and I saw really great reviews. So I was like, okay, cool. And then I also read that this only, okay, so basically this only has one heat setting, which is about 365. And so with that being said, they did research to see what was like the optimum heat for styling your hair without really burning it. And so they said that it's 365 and that's why they only have one heat setting. 
So I was like, okay, that's interesting. That means, you know, they've actually put thought and everything into this. And so usually when I flatter my hair, I have to be at like higher than 365. I have to be like close to like 400 just to get that sleek look, which causes a lot of damage. So by having this be at a lower setting, but the the type of plates that are on here and all the other things that go into this flat iron. And I'll put a link down below for more information on this iron, but everything made for with this iron is made to like combat the amount of damage that you're doing obviously you're using heat so you're gonna have some damage but this is going to give you the least amount of damage possible and especially the way that i use flat irons with only passing through one time or two times i'm definitely minimizing the amount of heat that i use on my hair so this is how i keep my hair at night time when i create these buns and i'll show you guys how i do it it's really not as loose as when I do like my regular bun. It's actually twisted all the way throughout. So I'll take my hair at nighttime and I'll brush it out, add a bit more oil to it, and then I will twist it like this and twist it all the way down like that. And then I will start wrapping it around and I put it underneath so that creates like those waves in the morning. So I just keep wrapping around to the root, and which is like this. Don't mind <laughs> this little hair right here. I don't know why it's sticking out like that. But yeah, and then I just take my um, scrunchie and just tighten it like that. And so I will sleep with my hair like this. Um, this one is a little bit looser than the one I just did. But I will go like this, and then I will also add my breathable head wrap here. So I'll do this. To lay my edges and keep my hair in the front sleek and straight. Now this is also the way that I work out in my hair. So I will work out with my hair just like this with also my headband. And this will basically keep my hair pretty straight throughout the week. I've only had to re-straighten my hair in the front like my roots just a little bit on the front one time so well really two times because the first time I just took a blow dryer and just brushed it back and blow dried it a little bit but it wasn't as flat as I wanted it to be so I went in with my flat iron and just did one take just around the perimeter of my hairline to smooth out those kinks and stuff because my hair in the front it I mean back here Nothing, none of this has gotten waved up through working out or anything when I have it out like this. But my front hairs, they curl up so easy. Any bit of moisture will curl them up. So um, when I have my hair with this, it really does help. And then if I need to, I will use my flat iron just to pass through just this front part right here one time. And so it's that's all I did this week to maintain my hair. And so I was adding this to my hair um, every other night and when I wasn't adding that I would add my coconut oil so I went back and forth between those two to keep my hair moisturized and sleek and shiny and sometimes if I felt like my hair had a bit too much product I just wouldn't add anything to it I just brush it out and rewrap it but again everybody's hair is different so you may find that your hair is a bit more on the dry side so you want to add more coconut oil or whatever oil you're using to your hair every night before you wrap it up into these two buns now I, I originally got this idea from my girls glam twins they um, have a tutorial on how they maintain their straight hair their hair is a lot longer than mine even though my hair is pretty long um, I find that this works decent for me now this isn't like a perfect technique in my opinion because this does give me waves and I'll pull my hair out now it does give me waves but it doesn't maintain more of a curl which is what I originally wanted but honestly through this experience I've just kind of gotten used to just having a bit more of a wave a messy wave beachy wave than actually having more curled um, and and bumped hair which is fine I think that um, one thing I don't ever hang myself up on is like ha trying to get a specific look like I never trip about if something doesn't come out quite as I pictured it it's really not that big of a deal so yeah this is how I've been wearing my hair just like this and this is cool for me like honestly it looks cute 
um it's still kind of like a different vibe uh, it's still messy i've got some texture but i don't have to add heat or anything to it um to maintain this style and so i've been wearing it like this all week and i still really like it this way so that's it that's how i maintain my straight hair if you guys have any other questions go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any other flat irons or heat styling products that you love let me know down below i really really enjoyed the ori bay blowout spray and the gold lust oil those have been like my go-to's this this time around when i've straightened my hair and they work really well they're super lightweight but also keeping my hair really shiny and moisturized throughout the week and yeah if you guys have any other questions like i said go ahead and comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time talk to you guys later bye